In this Fluency Link tutorial video, we'll look at how to navigate your book and use the various tools available to you in the e-reader. You can access your books under Learning Content Library. Click on a book's thumbnail to open it. There are several ways to navigate the book. In the top left, you may view the book's table of contents and select the drop-down arrow to expand a section. Click on a section to go to that page. To go to a specific page, you may enter the page number at the top by clicking here. You may also use the arrows on the, each side of the e-reader to page left and right. Additionally, you may click this icon at the bottom of the page to navigate using the thumbnail view. Some books have embedded resources, such as audio, video, and other kinds of documents. You may access them using icons like this on a book page, or using this resource tab. Click on a resource type to view the full list, and click on a specific resource to go directly to that page. The video player has a full screen option, as well as the ability to adjust the playback speed. You may also use the picture-in-picture -picture option to open the video in a separate window. You may then move this video around the page by clicking and dragging. Edit documents can be downloaded by clicking on this icon in the middle. Like video, the audio player also has the option to adjust the playback speed. And unlike video, it is downloadable. You can also enlarge the audio player by clicking on these two arrows. Next, we'll look at bookmarks. To bookmark a page, click this icon at the top right corner of each page. All of your bookmarks will show up in this list, and you can sort them by date or by page number. Click on a bookmark to go directly to that page. And click the bookmark icon again to remove it from your bookmarks. There are two ways to add notes to your book. One way is to click this icon in the top right. Then click somewhere on the page to add a note. Enter your note in the box and click Save. This will leave a note icon on the page. Click the icon again to edit or remove the note. You can also attach notes to highlighted text. Again, click this icon at the top right of the page. Enter your note and click Save. Click on a note again to edit or remove it. View all of your notes by clicking the Notes tab on the left-hand side of the page. These can be sorted by date and by page number. Click on a note to go directly to that page. Next, we'll look at making highlights. When you highlight text on a page, a highlight button will appear in the top right. You can choose a highlight color and then choose for it to be underlined or a background highlight. Click on a highlight to edit or remove it. Click the Highlights tab on the left to view your list of highlights. Again, you can sort these by date and by page number. Click on a highlight to go directly to that page. The Settings icon on the left-hand side allows you to switch between single page and two-page view. On the right-hand side of the page, use this icon to enter full screen and press Escape to exit. Use these two icons below to zoom in or zoom out. When zoomed in, these two icons will appear below. The panning icon is selected. This allows you to click and drag to move the page around. 
When the text selection icon is selected, it allows you to highlight and otherwise interact with the text as you normally would. Highlighting text also causes a few other buttons to appear on the top right. This define icon will look up the word on a dictionary website. The Google icon will search the word using Google. The Wikipedia icon will look up the word on Wikipedia. However, these functions may not work with non-English characters. One last thing you can do in the book is use the search feature. Again, this currently may not work with non-English characters. You can click on a search result to go directly to that page. For a reminder of what you can do in the book, you can also use the help icon on the left-hand side. This gives you a description of what different icons are for. And also contains a list of keyboard shortcuts if you are interested in using those. To exit a book, click back to library in the top right. Thanks for watching.